I don't know what people think about when they hear graduation. That's me, and this is my graduation from last year. I forgot I had it, and I found it midway this year and just decided to hold on to it till graduation time came around again this year. But as many of you guys know, it didn't. Actually, it did, but it wasn't the same. Anyways, I just want to give a huge shout out and uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, back to the video, graduation is boring. As you guys are going to see, the only reason I came was uh, to ruin it and get the principals and teachers mad. My plan was to fall on stage when it was my turn to take the picture. Uh, as you guys are going to see further in the video, at the end of the video, so make sure to watch the full video to see what exactly happens. I, I'm going to say I partially fell. Now, I don't know why I did this. But I think it was a good thing because as you guys are gonna well I'll tell you guys at the end of the video once I uh, you guys see my epic graduation fail so uh, make sure to watch the full video I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and wait two hours in some sort of prison area where the principal locked us up we were literally locked up in here for two hours and then we had to get paired up with our Practice buddies, I'm gonna say, and that just took another hey, whole hour. Hey, hey, if I go off, bro, like off that shit, bro. Hey, get Vincent. Where's Vincent at? Anyways, after 10 hours of listening to rules and our honor roll student speeches, it was finally time for the graduation ceremony, which was gonna last another four hours of speeches and mispronounced names. Even though I only came for one reason, which was this. Still wasn't that worth it. Because you guys can hear there's a bunch of students saying, stop, stop. Because the principal was speaking and that was one of the main rules. Well, this is the reason I only came to get her mad and you have the, basically the whole school saying to stop nope I wasn't gonna stop uh, anyways this uh, whole beach ball bouncing in the ceremony was a tradition I don't know when it started but I don't know if any of you guys also have this tradition if you guys have different tradition then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment of what it is anyways it's time for the epic fall Now at this point I'm I'm actually nervous. Not to go up on stage but because I'm about to fall and my whole body is freezing and super stiff after sitting down for almost two hours. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking now because it's time for just a heads up, it was a partial fall and that was a good thing, I'll explain why after. Okay, so it was more like a trip. Anyways, I still... I think I scared that sign language lady there. And the girl behind me, she walked up like on her tippy toes to make sure she didn't trip like me. But anyways, the reason why I didn't actually fall or go through with my full-on fall was because after I sat back down, I had a cut on my hand. So that ramp where I tripped had like some sharp holes I don't know what they were it was just like a design on the ramp I think it was made for grip but they were sharp and I literally cut off a piece of skin from my hand and I was bleeding I just hold held on until I got out of there because I did not want to cause more attention but if I was to fall down fully on a ramp it would have been for good content but it would have just <laughs> I don't know it might they might have to call the ambulance or I don't know I just did not want that to happen because that was just gonna be too much for me I just wanted to fall down on stage and fall off the stage and go back to my seat normally and not cause a bunch of attention by getting an ambulance or a firefighter crew and they're carrying me out with my ripped graduation dress. Anyways guys, that was the 
my graduation fail, you could call it. I tried. This is my first ever sort of, I guess you could call prank. I don't know, guys. Anyways, this was my graduation. I did not like it at all. And uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. Peace.